What's up guys? It is 11.20 at night and I feel like smoking a cigar. I only have one of these cigars so I'm out here to do a review. It is unseasonably warm right now and it feels great. Got a t-shirt on and I'm totally comfortable. Just a slight chill in the air but it feels nice. So I have a cigar here that is brand new to me. This is a Mersuli from I believe Southern California and this was sent to me by a viewer who I talked to on uh, Instagram and something that they've uh, smoked for a while and want to know my opinion on it I believe this is their Robusto uh, a 5x52 if I'm not mistaken and what's interesting about this uh, cigar is I, I don't think distribution is very far I think you can only buy these locally in fact I've never seen this brand or even heard of it uh, through any kind of uh, major dealer or anything and a second here, once I get this uh, lit up and stuff, I'll go to the website and read all about it and tell you more about it. So, uh, should we get this cut up? And lit. Alright. Yeah, I was just kind of in the mood. In the mood, and I wanted to try this one specifically. And I only have one. So here we are. So, uh, great draw on it. Pretty light draw. Doesn't take much to uh, pull that smoke in. <clears throat> real, real dry. Kind of like it's hit me in the back of the throat. Dry tobacco flavor. So, uh, apparently this uh, brand is kind of known. Um... But like I said, I don't, <clears throat> I don't think there's uh, much distribution across the U.S. I think it's just pretty much local to, you know, SoCo. So if you are in the area, you can certainly stop in and check it out. Yeah, so uh, like initial impressions, just kind of a, just a real dry tobacco flavor. Nothing specific other than that. Maybe a little bit of pepper in there, but... Even that is just, if it is pepper, it's very subtle. It's just kind of dry tobacco. So let me, um, let me read about this from their website. So this is uh, Mersuli Cigars, Inc. If you want to check this out. It says, uh, family tradition since 1936. This is their About Us page. Mersuli Cigars represents three generations of proud tobacco heritage. Our family became involved in the tobacco industry in Cuba during the mid-30s, 1930s. The Mersuli Cigar Store is located in Temple City, California. Uh, inside we have a walk-in humidor, cigar lounge, and, a carry, and carry a large variety of cigar accessories. Our store's humidor carries over 40 types of our famous handcrafted cigars. So if I'm not mistaken, I believe I read on uh, Yelp that they only sell their brand. If you, you know, go there and walk in, but it's amazing, 40 different types. So you do have plenty to choose from. Uh, let's see. We use a unique blend of tobacco leaves, which include Dominican, uh, Palado Cubana, Cuban seed, Honduran, Ecuadoran, and Connecticut. This one clearly looks like a Connecticut wrapper. Um, let's see. We continuously inspect our tobacco throughout the cigar making process to ensure quality and consistency. Our rollers are masters at their craft and hand roll every cigar to perfection. You can find them on Facebook, Instagram, and Yelp. So yeah, they have a bunch of pictures here with uh, some celebrities. Like Billy Joel. Yeah, you can look on the website and look at the same pictures I'm looking at right now. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, let's see, their, their information to order cigars is literally just a phone number and their three links, their Facebook page, their Instagram page, and an email. 
but their phone number is 626-444-3443. So just give us a call, and they'll give you information on them. Unfortunately, they are closed right now. They're not going to be open until tomorrow, I think, at 10. So I have no information as far as price, but the Yelp um, feedback from people said that their cigars are reasonably priced. So I can't imagine this being more than $10 a stick, maybe 6 7 bucks if I had to guess. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much, that's that. So, I can tell you that uh, the flavor's strong. It's a strong dry tobacco flavor, but also the, um, the strength feels strong. Like, I already kind of feel it, you know what I mean? It's not like a powerhouse or anything, but it's definitely not a light power cigar so far for me. Uh, but the draw is great. Tons of smoke. So far, so good on the burn. Yeah, just interesting. I mean, there's nothing nothing popping out specifically flavor-wise to me. Um, just kind of tobacco. Just a straight, nice tobacco. It is a good tobacco flavor. The, the initial couple puffs, it, it really hit me in the back of the throat like a strong, almost a burning sensation. Very similar to like when there's a ton of pepper, you know, but, but now that's kind of faded off. It's not, not so strong in the, the throat, but still just a dry tobacco flavor. That's pretty much it right now. So it's nice and calm. It's quiet. I'm going to sit out here, enjoy this cigar, have some water with it. Probably uh, check the news, and I'll come back to you guys when something happens, you know, whether I get down to, uh, you know, some kind of a change, a transition or something, or if nothing changes as far as flavor, I'll just get back to you after I've been smoking for a little while. So see you guys soon. All right, just uh, checking in for a minute here. You can see the ash holding on very nicely. I'm tempted to ash it. Like when I'm smoking, I'm not filming or doing a review or whatever. I ash as soon as possible just because I don't want to fall on myself. But anyway, let's do a quick time check. 11.36, so about 16 minutes in. Um, initially, it was it was much stronger. Like the, the flavor and the strength was stronger. Like I felt like nicotine right away. And now it's kind of settled down a little bit. Maybe just like meaty, <laughs> meaty, medium bodied. And... Uh, you know, the flavor has definitely settled down a little bit. It still just has mostly just a dry tobacco flavor, but there is a little bit of wood in there. Nothing specific, just a little bit of wood, very subtle. Other than that, it's just tobacco flavored. But the construction is awesome. Smoking perfectly, literally, razor sharp burn. Very easy to draw, perfect pack. So A plus on uh, construction. I don't want this thing... Uh, on me so I am gonna ash it here I know the purest cigar guys are like no you gotta smoke it down so it's one big ash <laughs> it's not how I enjoy it so there we go but yeah I just wanted to uh, pop the camera on real quick talk about the construction which is totally spot-on so um, the person who sent this to me um, basically said that they've been smoking for a long time they were awesome they loved them and then like recently they thought maybe they went downhill a little bit just kind of so-so I have no reference, obviously, this is the first time I'm smoking this uh, brand, but <clears throat> we'll see. We'll see what I think by the uh, end of it. But so far, perfect construction, just nothing super special that's standing out, but it's a good cigar. And I'm really loving the weather. We're going to get spoiled again tomorrow. It's going to rain, but it's supposed to be a high of like 69 or something. So I can't wait for that. Nice and warm. And then uh, back to cold and snow. It's going to be more wintry mix. A winter event, whatever that means. <laughs> so, I mean, we're not out of the, uh, the woods yet. I mean, right now it, it literally feels like a cool summer night, you know, or maybe like a, a fall night or something like that. But, you know, the last couple of years, we got most of our snow in my area in like late February into March, I think our biggest snowfalls last year was was in March. So I don't I, I don't trust it. I don't trust uh, the weather until probably early April. That's when uh, I know it's not going to snow anymore, or at least probably not going to snow.
So yeah, I'll probably get back to you when I hit the band or unless the flavor changes. See you guys soon. All right. Quick update, not quite at the band here. I also did hold that ash on for you. Let's do a, a time check. <clears throat> wow, all right, well, it's uh, officially tomorrow. Midnight. <laughs> I've been smoking this thing for two days now. So, uh, flavor is exactly the same. It's just... It's just a straight dry tobacco with just a hint of wood. Now, I was really looking hard to try to find some kind of prices. Uh, theoretically, I should have called earlier today while they're open to actually get some information about it. Um, but this was totally unplanned. Just decided to have this, uh, you know, when I started the video. But I did find on Yelp a advertisement for a discount. Now, although this is not the same stick that I'm smoking because this has a green band, this has a, a red band, and I'm not sure exactly which one this is. However, this was a box of 10 of uh, Mersuli cigars, doesn't say which ones, and uh, original price was $50 and they had it for $10 off at 40 bucks. <clears throat> so that means the original price for this particular cigar was $5 a cigar on sale for $4 a cigar, essentially. So that tells me that they're pretty affordable cigars. Now, I, I think I said before that they had over 40 varieties or something. So uh, I think it's safe safe to say this is probably a 5 or $6 cigar. So, price does certainly influence opinion. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to take the band off. So I can slide this off here. I go fast. There we go. Love saving the bands. So, uh, yeah. Still have a little, you know, a little way to go. But, um, you know, so far my opinion is it's kind of boring. <laughs> it's kind of in the flavor department. Still medium um, strength, in my opinion. But it has kind of the flavor profile of a, a very light cigar. You know, there's just not a whole lot going on there in the flavor department. Um, nothing standing out, nothing, you know, for, for my style, I happen to like sweeter cigars. This is not sweet at all. Um, in fact, if you really don't like, you know, sweetness in your cigars, this might be something you're looking for. But yeah, I mean, it's just, it's kind of boring. You know, there, there's not much going on here. Uh, I will say this would probably make an awesome cigar for the golf course. If you're, uh, you know... Uh, if every time you go out golfing you smoke a cigar and you're more focused on the game than your cigar this is probably a good choice because it's uh, apparently reasonably priced and so far the construction has been absolutely perfect I mean it's perfect construction which is awesome so it is a quality you know premium hand rolled cigar but again that kind of that the lacking of flavor for me sitting here specifically focused on the flavor of the cigar is a negative but again, if you're active, if you're doing something, if you're taking a walk and you're smoking a cigar, or you're multitasking and smoking a cigar, or like I said, golfing, that may be a good thing. You know what I mean? Maybe you don't want something with tons of different flavors going on and stuff because you're focused on your golf game, you know, or whatever you may be doing. So that's what, I mean, again, I'm not done yet, but I'm making a, an assumption that the flavor, if it hasn't changed now, it might not change. But yeah, I mean, that's what I would probably recommend this for. I would say that uh, if I was in Southern California by this shop, I would definitely go in there and check out some of the other, other stuff. Um, I really looked hard at like all the different reviews uh, on a couple different websites, and no one really has anything bad to say. The only negative review I saw from someone was that they didn't sell other brands. Apparently, this was someone who went into this, their cigar shop, specifically looking for whatever they were looking for, and found that they only have that brand which is not a negative that's just i don't know it's like going to a, a shoe store and i don't know maybe maybe that's not a good example it's like going into a store looking for something that they don't sell and then getting mad that they don't sell it so uh, i don't know i don't really see that as a negative but anyway i am enjoying it but like i said flavor department it kind of falls flat again i don't i don't have a reference as to what this used to taste like you know this particular cigar but um 
But yeah, I mean, if you guys have had this brand, let me know what cigars you've had from them and what you thought of them. But right now I'm getting amazing construction, enjoyable to smoke, but really lacking flavor. Like I said, just kind of a stronger, powered, light flavor cigar. Just kind of lackluster, you know what I mean? So yeah. I'll be back when we are all done, when I decide I'm done with it. You can definitely get probably 10 or 15 minutes more out of this stick, but it's just the same flavor and kind of done with it. So, I'm going to let that go out on its own. And let's do a time check. It's 12 after midnight, so we started like uh, 11 20 something I think I think you would uh, you would get a solid hour, hour out of that if you were to smoke it down so yeah I mean I pretty much said everything about it um, one thing I did want to point out though is that the entire cigar smoked very smoothly it was a smooth smoke um, when I first lit it it was kind of harsh the first two puffs and I think that's just because it overheated you know um, lit it up real fast so it got very hot but yeah I mean as soon as that calmed down it was nice, smooth smoking the whole time. This cigar has literally everything going for it except for flavor. It lacks in the flavor department. Um, but I see that as a negative. Someone else may enjoy that fact, that it's just kind of a dry tobacco flavor. Uh, I would definitely say that if you're someone who's a heavy uh, cigarette smoker and you're trying to transition into cigars, this is something you may enjoy because you're used to that type of flavor. Of course, take out all the chemicals <laughs> from your cigarette. You're used to the chemical flavors too, maybe. But um, yeah, it's just premium tobacco leaf there. No chemicals added or anything like that. Um, but it's just bland to me. Uh, but I, you know, on the flip side of things, I do know people who are cigarette smokers who try cigars and like some of the cigars that I love and these different flavors that I enjoy in cigars they don't like because they're used to smoking cigarettes that don't have all those kind of different flavors so to each their own you know for me it introduced me to this brand I would certainly be interested in the future in trying other cigars from them um, but this particular one I wouldn't have again you know for my personal taste you know but yeah if you guys have had Marcelli uh, cigars or if you live in in Southern California and you uh, know of this place let me know your experiences so thanks for watching hope you guys have a wonderful day and uh, I'll see you soon take care